Hi everyone, I'm KBM, and this is a tutorial for animating eyes in Flash. Not drawing them, just setting up a rig to uh, efficiently and, oh come on, you can't say uh in a fucking scripted video, so that you can make cool looking animations quickly and smoothly. So here we've got a head from a project I'm working on right now. So we're going to go into this head object, we've got layers for all those other parts, but we're going to look at the eyes. So let's give our man some eyes. I'm going to have to record this like seven times. Is that too thick? I think that looks okay. And something like that. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll make a duplicate and then flip it. Okay. And now let's make both of these into one symbol called eyes. It's tempting to put them both in, a, uh, in their own symbols one for each eye, but you'll see why this is the better way to go. Can I fill this? Yeah, okay, that'll be fine. So inside our eye object, we're gonna want two separate layers uh, for these outlines, so we'll call this his R outline for right outline. Actually, that's his left eye, it's R right. It's, it's tough to keep that. All right, and this is going to be the R outline. Get eyeball layers in here, R ball. Ball. Let's get an eyeball here. There we go. Let's fill that with white. I want to copy this and just give him the same thing in the other eye. And then let's make that into a symbol. Our eyeball is our eyeball. Okay, so now we need two more layers. So you've got the outline of your eyes, and then the pupil and iris, and then the white part. And so uh, this is the pupil iris layer, and so we're going to make a layer underneath that for uh, just the white part, because that doesn't really move, and so we can just let that sit stationary in the back. But uh, to get that fill, we're going to want to copy the outline into there. Uh, so if you, if you hide that one, you can see that we're just, we're just putting some white here. And now we'll do the same here, and you can see... We just want to get that fill in the background. Oops. Okay, so we can go ahead and lock the white because we're never going to touch that again. The most important thing about setting up a rig for your eyes is to make sure that this pupil iris object has total freedom to move around. Right? We want to be able to look in all sorts of directions without uh, doing a lot of work. But we can't do that right now because it's sticking out over the outline. And so all we want to do is we want to limit what's shown to the inside of this, of this outline. And if you're familiar with Flash, you know that we can do that with a mask. And that's, that's really a terrible name because masks hide things, and in Flash they reveal things. So I've always thought that masks should be called windows or something. So to get those masks, we can just duplicate right here. Uh, duplicate, call this L mask, and then maskify, and bring in our eyeball and our white stuff. And do the same for the right. If you're not familiar with how masks work in Flash, you should check that out because it's an infinitely useful thing to have. Okay, so here we go. So and you you can see for yourself uh, how cool this is, because now we can just move our eye up there and move this one up here. And look, that's exactly what we wanted. I should have done a better job with this outline. But we're almost ready to animate. The last, uh, last thing we need is just eyebrows. So I'll draw those real quick. Make that an object, so eyebrow. So this is just gonna be our base look, right? Uh, this is pretty decent looking, pretty decent looking guy. Hey, how you doing, real cool. Okay, so we're finally ready to animate. The way I like to do this is to separate it into little segmented uh, motions. So we're gonna take these and drop them here. So now we're ready to go. I usually put all these little micro animations on five frames. It doesn't matter how many you can do, however many you want. Uh, so let's, let's just put a frame and then keyframe and keyframe. Let's say we want to make him look down. Okay, we're going to look down. Okay, tween, tween, boom. Easy, done. You want to make him sad? We can make him sad too. Let's, uh, okay. So with, with eyebrows, 
generally you're going to want to put your pivot point uh, on the outside corner. There are exceptions, but that's generally how it goes. And same with this one. Now always make sure you set your pivot points uh, before you put the ending keyframe, right? The, the start and beginning, or the beginning and end need to have the same pivot point location, otherwise a tween isn't going to work. We'll, we'll lower his eyebrows a little bit. Oh, he's, he's getting sad. Uh, and then same with this one. So if we look at the whole thing. Oh, no, he's getting sad. That's what this top layer, the cues, is for. And now we can label this as sad. And boom. And so anytime in your main timeline that you want to use the sad expression, it will just say, all right, start at frame five and go to frame uh, frame nine, frame 10. And then you'll, and so you've always got this to use. And that's why I like to use these segmented animations instead of ha just having a continuous timeline. So let's do another one. Uh, we'll do like an eye roll sort of thing. And you can use a motion guide, but just to do this faster, I'm gonna just use uh, keyframes. We're gonna wanna start here and then go up to the corner. It'll be in the middle. And then be over here. And then we'll do the same thing with the left eyeball. So we've got all our keyframes. That took 30 seconds. And now let's uh, let's raise his eyebrows a little bit. We'll, we'll do it here, I guess. And, and then up a little bit. And this one, raise up, tweenify. Let's go ahead and stretch this out a little bit. And then, because it, it's moving pretty fast. So let's stretch it out. All right, let's try again. That's amazing. That's amazing. That took a minute. With, with this simple rig, you can do anything you want with these eyes. Look, the eyebrows, it's, it's so simple. It's so fast. And once you understand how this rig works, you can do some really, really cool shit. So let's get two more layers in here. We'll call this R lid and L lid. We'll just do this frame by frame. Make sure you get a little curve on there. Uh, blank keyframe. Middle. All right, now let's paint behind. Grab, it'll be your skin color, but for now it's just white. And we'll just paint around here. Fill that in. Fill that in. And then what I like to do and then is just grab the first one and throw it on the end. Blink, easy. And so I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other eye now. Okay, and blink, easy, done. The reason that this is so cool is because now this blink is available to us for everything. So I can just, just drop it in, just boom, blink, and get rid of this crap. I actually kind of want this to be later. And see, now you've got eye roll plus blink. It's, it's fantastic. This rig is absolutely amazing. Eye roll, blink. Let's look at one last thing we can do. So let's grab the base again. And we'll put it in here. We're gonna make this guy squint, and it's gonna take 30 seconds. Okay, so let's grab the mask, the outline, and the white, and just shrink it down. Shrink it on down, however you want. Bottom, I don't, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. And then for these, because they're not symbols, we're gonna just use a shape tween, and that'll work just fine. See, nice and squints right down. Okay, so everything's locked again. Let's check it out. Boom, easy, done. We can even we can even get a little motion here with the with the eyeballs. Okay. Okay, so I put in some some motion with the eyeballs, and now for the last touch, uh, let's get these these eyebrows moving. So I want to make sure my pivot points in the right place, and when you squint, right, your sort of your eyebrows go down. So let's yeah, let's get some down angle going on there. That's not the right keyframe. There we go. Oh, that looks so good. And okay. And then we just classic tween. You you can convey so much emotion uh, just with with these eye movements that become so simple with this rig. 
and we can we can even make this a little more fun. Uh, I'm gonna do a little frame by frame action here. We're gonna bring this guy out there. So that's just a little, a little extra brow fun there. Look at that! Oh, he's so. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. See, you you make a lot of noises and make a lot of faces when you're animating. Uh, it's beautiful. So just to make one last effort to convince you that this is worth doing, let's take a look at um, the project I'm working on just real quick. Um, we've got some cool eye movement here, and that's. I mean, that's pretty much everything that we talked about, right? And if you look here in the eyes, there's a lot of really cool little uh, segmented animations here. And there's just, there's just infinitely many things that you can do with this rig. It's, it's so efficient and so simple. Look, that's amazing. Could you imagine trying to do that frame by frame? No, never. And so it, it keeps it keeps the eyeball separate from the outside. The eyebrows, the eyebrows are pretty simple. And then you've got this, the blink coming in while everything is animating. It's it's the perfect rig. It's it's amazing. His name is Harry, and by the way, you've probably seen that a few times. So I hope this has been helpful. If there's something else that you've been trying to animate but can't quite figure out, leave a comment. I'd love to help. If you'd like to see some really cool animations, then you're gonna wanna stay away from my channel and go to newgrounds.com. I'm KBM, thanks for watching. Can you guys hear that cat on the capture? Jesus Christ. I fed him like five minutes ago.